So since we have a tarp in our way, we could run a tape measure, of course, and I have one. Seventy-eight feet long. Look at that pipe boot, Bill. <coughs> that was probably a repair. They, they, it's either a homeowner job or they called a guy that said he could fix it, and that's what he did. But I tell you what happened: the squirrels, the squirrels chewed them things down. This is North Carolina. I don't know what it is about these pipe boots. If you know, but see, they cocked all around top of that one because the squirrels were chewing it. Squirrels are chewing it here too. They love chewing these things. Don't know why. So I don't use the lid just because of that reason. Probably put a new power vent in there. I don't know. That one's working. See what he says. It'll be up to him. I'm gonna have to get a split vent here. We're gonna need to get a split vent for that. That's not gonna be good. There's nothing around it right now. Isn't that something? Yeah. We'll get a special vent for that. And then this thing was not put in right. It just kind of went over the top. It's probably their kitchen stove vent or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. You can actually see the top of the vent on top of the shingle so you know water's going in there. Maybe homeowner stuff down here. I'm not sure. Definitely need to get a vent here. Yeah, you probably have a few soft spots, Bill. We have to, we're going to have some plywood issues up here. Yes, sir. Get the up and down measurement. All right, now, so we know the length. Billy counted it out. And this is how you measure your house, actually. See them tabs right there? Each one of them tabs is one foot. If you have an architectural shingle, you're gonna have to do it with the measurement, uh, with the measuring tape. In this case, we have what they call the three tab. So I measure from the bottom to the top, and he has 17 foot six. I'm gonna say 18 feet. And then we double check that the other side is exactly the same. And I would go 18 and 18 is 36 times whatever the length is of your house. So if you have 60 feet, you do that. If you have 75 feet, you do that. So you double check and make sure they're both the same. Yeah? Same thing. Same thing. Okay, so 36 feet by how long was it? 36 by 76. That's going to give you the shingles on your roof. You're probably going to want to add a pack, maybe two packs. I always add a square just to be safe. Pretty straight roof, so this is an easy measure. This is an easy measure here. So, um, yeah, that's all you're going to do. Measure that and that. And now, you have 74 feet. While you buy a bundle of maybe the three-tab shingles that they use right here, and cut them into caps you get about 30 feet out of a bundle so 30 60 90 it's more than 60 less than 90 so you'll need three bundles of that your bundle of starter strips will cover 110 feet okay so you're going to go from one end to the other you only have 74 feet but that's and then uh 18 so 74 84 92 so basically you're gonna get a bundle for per side. So if you get two packs of starter strips that will cover all the way around this house. And then you're gonna need, go to these things here and I would just go to Lowe's and get the regular standard pipe boot, regular pipe boot. If you need a new one of these power fans, you can get one. I recommend replacing it with something solar. I like solar personally. <clears throat> Looks like it's got a rain guard so there's probably a door down there. And uh, if you don't make these rain guards right, and I bet you money this one's not, um, the L shape has to go up underneath the shingle. Or it's not really doing anything but letting water underneath, so this is a bad thing here. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And plus, you know, this thing's going to fill up. And they didn't put it at any angle. See, they just kind of squared it off here. They dropped that in down there, maybe a quarter of an inch. Not enough. You want to give it, I don't know, three inches maybe. You know, drop it down three inches. So you want to make that sure that metal right there is bent. Mm, you want to have a minimum of six inches at this end, nine inches at that end. So I would go nine by three or three and a half and then put a little lip on it right here to keep the water that rushes down from just kind of splashing over. It will just splash back. Okay, so that's a rain diverter over a door. And of course, you got rotten plywood down here. So we'll be dealing with that issue. Billy felt something out here in the middle. 
I know we have some over there. And we have this chimney to deal with. So that's our project for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, however long it takes us. Yes, it needs definitely needs new flashing all the way around. It needs to be recut up the next brick higher, make it a little taller. And then down the side, we're just going to make one single cut from the top to the bottom and put one one piece of counter flashing in the top, step flash, and then counter flash it with one piece. I'm not sure why theirs sticks out so bad, but this is this is pretty bad. I'm not sure why their flashing comes out that far, but it's what an inch stick right here. I don't know. Somebody had an issue, obviously. Like right I don't know what the frick they did, but we're gonna straighten that out. So no worries. I'll see you guys in about a week. I'll have a video of this thing when we're finished. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your subscribing. Appreciate you watching all my videos as we do a lot of different types of stuff. And we really like to show the right way to do it as opposed to the wrong way. And uh, everything has a right and a wrong way. And there are, just so you know, levels. And I've been saying this all day because I had a surgery in Duke University as opposed to Wilmington Surgical, my first operation. And the operation is between really literally night and day from one to the other, so. I mean night and day, the Duke operation was amazing. <coughs> yeah, I can actually walk again. I was really having trouble. So Drew's ripping a home repair. I know it's getting windy here. The wind's blowing, it actually feels real good because it's been so damn hot. Um, I'm gonna add this little piece on here too. It's been so damn hot that I've hardly been able to stand it. So, here I am. What is today, Friday? Yeah, let's go. Just gotta measure this little porch. All right, guys, I'm out. See you next time. Peace.